Hello and welcome to the July 2022 episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. So, if you've not seen my Japan Crate uh, July 2022 video, I'll leave it in the link below, uh, which is the monthly kind of Japanese snack subscription box thing. I opened it up, took a look at everything inside, and this is the kind of follow-up video where I give the snacks inside a go. Um, so, without much further ado, I'm just going to jump into it. So, this is a pack of crispy mochi taro. Now, unfortunately, the cheat sheet that came with the box doesn't really explain what these are. I think they're savoury, but they might be sweet. Because um, it, it literally doesn't say. So, here you are, the sort of uh, chunks of crispy biscuity stuff, I guess. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try one. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so, um, kind of as expected, they're kind of lightly salted uh, bits of kind of cracker, I guess, or something like that. So I'm just going to have another one. Yeah, okay, in terms of crispy kind of cracker things I've had before, this isn't really any of the strongest. It's quite, um, it's quite plain, really, to be honest. I mean, it's got a nice crunch to it and everything. But in terms of flavour, there's not really much going on. Um, <laughs> you know, nice enough, but not something I'd necessarily buy if I saw in stores. But, you know, not bad. Right, on to the next snack. All right, so this is one of the ones I've been really looking forward to. And that is the corn and salt flavoured Doritos. Um, so the description said that these actually taste different to the international versions. So I'm really kind of curious, we'll take a quick look at the back and everything. Obviously everything is in Japanese, apart from Doritos and the Frito-Lay logo there. Um, the, the packaging feels really uh, premium, I guess, is how I'd describe it. It's kind of thick. Um, yeah, so I, I think this is meant to... It's meant to be more of a subtle flavour, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, but hang on. There you go. So yeah, I think this isn't meant to be as strong a flavour, but it's meant to be kind of, you know, a nice, a nice salty kind of snack. And I mean, Doritos are Doritos. I've never, I've never had a Dorito I don't like. So obviously, you know what they look like. They look like the corn chip things. So, corn and salt flavour. Let's give it a go. Hmm, that was quite interesting. Um... Surprisingly, actually, there's a stronger taste of corn than I was expecting. Obviously, because these are kind of tortilla corn chips anyway, I assumed you wouldn't really get it. But no, this does taste quite a bit of corn and a little bit of salt as well. Um, I'm going to have one more. So I kind of get what the description meant in that these taste a little different uh, as well, because they taste a little bit lighter, if that makes sense. Not quite as thick as regular Doritos. I will say the, uh, the the second one had more salt in it and a little bit less corn flavour, I guess. Overall, I wouldn't say this is a flavour I'd go out of my way to get, really. It, it is kind of plain. I mean, it's got the crunch that I love from Doritos and everything. But, I don't know, it kind of... It's not a flavour I'd look out for because it's not particularly interesting. It's kind of a ready salted Dorito, really, which maybe for some people, you know, is not bad. But... I'd rate it a solid kind of like 6 out of 10. They're not bad, but there's nothing to write home about, really. Uh, right, on to the next snack. All right, it's time for another Japanese staple, and that's Kit Kat Minis. This time with the salt and white chocolate flavour. Now, those of you with eagle eyes might notice this is already open, but that's because I recently went to visit Will Jar. Uh, I'll leave the his Twitch URL below, um, and we kind of did a Mario Party stream with some other friends, and I brought this over to share with everyone because there was loads in there. So I am cheating a little bit, I have actually had one of these before. We'll take a look at the back of the package as well. There's like the other flavours and whatnot. This is a Kit Kat. Um, so I will say, I don't actually remember much of what it tasted like yesterday, so... It's kind of like this is my first time trying it, but it, it's not, because that would be a lie. But still, um, I mean, I've yet to try a mini Kit Kat that I didn't like, honestly. Um, at, the, at the very least, they're kind of average. Um, honestly, most of the ones I've had are incredible. The green tea matcha is my favourite. 
So that is what they look like. Uh, honestly, they all look like this. Um, even if it's like strawberry or whatever, it still looks like white chocolate, which is strange. So I'm going to snap one in half because it's barbarism to eat them any other way. I am going to give this a try. I'll be honest, I couldn't really tell you if there was salt in it. Um, I am kind of eating other food on the side, so maybe salt from that has kind of overpowered this. But honestly, all I'm really getting is the white chocolate. I'm going to try the other half of this. All right, I will say, um, I picked up a little bit more salt that time. There, there were a little bit sort of like tang to it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, overall, honestly, I probably couldn't tell you there was salt in it unless you told me before I ate this. But I mean, you know, white chocolate Kit Kats are quite nice anyway. So honestly, this is just just as nice, really. Um, yeah, the, the salt kind of brings something to it, I guess, maybe. Yeah, not bad. Uh, probably the best one so far of this box. Anyway, on to the next snack. All right, it's time for some chocolate pie. Uh, so these are kind of interesting. I might have had these before. Um, I'll be honest, I can't quite remember. I'm going to try and undo this box. So I'll be obby. It was a pull tab, which is why I was having trouble with it. Right, let Ooh. Okay. This is an interesting one, so um, this box is not one to open. So we've kind of got an inner package as well. What could be in here? Probably the chocolate pies. Let's take a look. Uh, right, so we've got like a plastic tree. Hey, there you go. There's a ton of chocolate pies. So let me grab one. So they're quite light and kind of crumbly. They're definitely a pastry kind of thing, which is quite interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this pastry-like. I thought these would just be biscuits. Uh, right, I'm going to take a bite. Okay, these are actually exactly what I expected them to be uh, after picking them up. It's kind of light pastry and like a hard chocolate inside. Now, I'm not sure if maybe it's just cooler here, so maybe the chocolate's hardened a bit, but it is a little bit weird because, like, the pastry is so fluffy and light and then the chocolate's so, like, hard that it is a bit weird, but, you know, it's pretty nice. I'm going to have the rest of this. I just realised as well, these are hexagons. I think it's a hexagon, the six-sided one. Um, but, yeah, honestly, it's, it's not bad. I will say the chocolate inside isn't amazing, but it's not bad either. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. It's, um... It, well, it tastes a lot of Lotte chocolate, basically. I've had a couple Lotte-themed chocolate things before. And it's got, like, a kind of unique taste. It's almost a little bit fruity in its, like, sweetness. It's kind of interesting. But, yeah, overall, these are actually really nice. Um, they're quite different to other biscuity things and, like, chocolatey things in that you do get a nice little pastry kick. So, yeah, honestly, I'd recommend these. I'll, I'll definitely have these again. Anyway, on to the next snack. All right, it's time for something a little bit more savoury now, with a bar of cheese, Zach. It's it's a it's a strange name, uh, but that cat is looking pretty cool. Um, and that's the back. It's kind of small, as you can see. It's it's cheese flavour, I guess. Um, I'm kind of curious to see if it's yeah. If it's a cheese flavoured biscuit, or if it's a biscuit with cheese filling, I can't quite remember. Uh, ooh. Ooh, wow, that looks cheesy. I'm guessing it's cheese flavoured as opposed to cheese filled, because there's emptiness in the middle there. Um, right, cool. I'm going to go take a bite. Wow, that is really nice, actually. Um, now, if you don't like cheese, I don't know what you're doing eating cheese, Zach, which kind of says where it does on the tin. That is incredibly cheesy. Um, so it's kind of a, a crispy kind of corn snack stick thing. It's a little bit like umaibo, um, but like thicker, if that makes sense. Now, it's very crumbly, as you can see. I kind of took one bite and like half of it came off on the one side. It's very, um, it's got an interesting cheese flavor to it because it's a little bit sweet. Um, no. Not sweet per se, but it's like sweeter than most cheese snacks I've had, if that makes sense. That 
That's really nice, actually. You know, I'm I'm not often in the mood for like really cheesy snacks, but when I am, I'll keep that in mind. Actually, cheese Zack. You know what? That cat's got it correct. That is a cool snack. Anyway, on to the next cool snack. All right, it is time for the drink of the box, and this time it is the caramel popcorn soda. Uh so. This is going to be an interesting one. I think we'll take a look at the bottle. It's very uh, Americana, I guess, kind of. It's got that classic look. Obviously, this is Japanese, though. I don't know who the manufacturer is, but, uh, yeah, kind of looking forward to this, I think, maybe. I'm hoping it's not going to be too sweet. Uh, I don't think it will be, though, to be honest. So I've got this nice clear glass here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Ready for the no, okay. So there'd be a hips, uh, maybe there wasn't, but right, okay. So I will pour a little, all right. So, ooh. Ooh, okay, it's um, it's more golden than I thought in the bottle, it kind of looked the same color as like Pepsi or Coke, really. All right, I'm gonna take a sniff of this. That's weird. Um, <laughs> this smells like popcorn. Not, not just, I don't mean the caramel you get in popcorn, I don't mean it's just sweet. It smells like the cone itself as well, it genuinely smells like sniffing a bag of popcorn. This is weird. Um, right, I'm really curious about this now, so I'm going to give it a swig. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, that is... That's weird. Oh my god, that's like... So... Obviously, it's been in the fridge, so it's nice and cool. So you, you definitely get that caramel hit when you, you know, when you drink it. And, you know, it's quite, it's quite sweet. It's not overbearing, but it's fairly sweet. And then you get, like, the undertaste of, like, cooked popcorn. It's hard to describe. It's a little bit, like, flat. It's kind of not savoury, but, like, it, it tastes like popcorn. It's weird. It's strange. It's like, I don't know how they've done that. That's weird. That I, I'm gonna have another sip. Yeah, that's really strange. It like, it almost verges on tasting a little bit like burnt, if that makes sense. Which it doesn't really, because it's a soft drink. But like, it isn't. It doesn't have a burnt taste. But you know when you like pop popcorn, and you get that like cooked flavor. I guess I I don't know how to describe this. I'm genuinely lost for words. This. Kudos to whoever made this, because this is genuinely like drinking popcorn, except it's cold. It's very weird. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. Wow. I. All right. This, hands down, this is absolutely what the label says. This isn't just some generic kind of caramelly soft drink or whatever. This is the real deal. This is actual popcorn in a drink. Caramel popcorn. I. Oh my god, man, if if you guys get a chance and see this on some site or whatever, and you like the taste of popcorn, obviously, I recommend giving this a go. This is, like, it's strange, it's weird, it's, man, I really want to savour this now, so, you know, may, may have, like, a, two sessions of drinking this, maybe, because I don't want to drink it too quickly. It's so strange, but, yeah, kudos to them, this is probably the coolest thing in the crate so far. Uh, right, so that brings me up to, I think, the last item for this Japanese snack review, uh, which is this item here. All right, it's time for the last snack, and that is Nature Soft, which is, I think, what that says. Uh, so this is a DIY kit where you make your own ice cream. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at the packaging. That is that. So I do believe uh, what you need to do here... Hang on, BRB. All right, there we go. So I do believe what you need to do here is uh, stir that. I use that to stir, I believe, and then you put the quote-unquote ice cream into some ice cream cones. So first off, I've got to put this in the tray. All right, so next, according to the uh, instructions that come with that booklet that came with Japan Crate, I have to put two, around two tablespoons of water in with this. So, here we go. 
All right, so I poured uh, about two teaspoons. I may have said tablespoons in the last part. I didn't mean tablespoons, just teaspoons. Uh, so I put it in the powder. It says to stir very well. I think I might have put a little bit too much water, actually. It is hard to get exactly two teaspoons. Uh, but there we go, it's kind of, you know, frothed up. So I'm gonna grab one of these ice cream cones. It says to put it in, so here goes. All right, there we go. That You know what? That looks pretty decent, actually. Um, it's a little bit finicky to get in. It's very, like, gelatinous, if that makes sense. And I do believe the packaging says this is cider flavour, so that's pretty interesting. I'm going to put the other two cones there. So, I'm going to go take a bite of this delicious, refreshing ice cream powder cider thing. Hmm, that's actually quite interesting. It's um, It's very frothy. Obviously, that's kind of what it is. I think the powder reacts with the water. Obviously, froths up. Um, it's not really like ice cream. It does taste a lot like um, lemonade, or I mean, ramune or cider, as they refer to it. Sort of an apple thing. All right, I'm going to go eat the rest of this. All right, I've just made another one. Um, I've got to admit, this, 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 I'm not wild on this. Um, I think the, the 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 foamy kind of froth thing isn't too bad actually. It's it's not bad, um, but it's not particularly sweet, and it's got a little bit of a kind of carbonated kind of feeling to it, which I mean makes sense obviously. And it just doesn't really go in an ice cream cone. Um, I mean I know it looks like ice cream. This this looks pretty cool to be fair, but the taste just isn't there. It really is like having an ice cream cone filled with lemonade. It just it doesn't work really, the, the flavours don't mesh exactly. Um, I mean, kudos to them for making an interesting DIY kit. Uh, this is kind of cool, I've never made mini ice creams before. But I don't know, I think maybe if this was like milk flavoured or kind of strawberry flavoured, something, something more traditionally an ice cream flavour, I think it might have worked better, or vanilla or something like that. But as it stands, it's fine. It's not it's not terrible, but I don't think I'd have one of these again. Um, but yeah, there you go. Well, that wraps up this episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I will be doing another snack review when the next box comes, and that should be in a week or two, I think. So stick around for that. Obviously, I'll be making another Japanese snack review for the snacks on that box as well. Uh, you know, it's it's been fun. I've had some interesting snack experiences. Let me know if you've tried any of the ones in this episode, uh, or if you recommend anything sort of that's similar to the ones I've had. Because I'm always up for trying different Japanese snacks, especially you know, even if they're not in the snack box itself. Right. Well, I'll leave you guys get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching this until the end. I'll leave a playlist from my other Japanese snack reviews on the side. And until next time. Goodbye.